So just very quickly, this is a, a quick show of my little rocket stove I've built for development purposes. I am building a kiln and this is going to be the rocket firing it. Okay, at the moment you can probably even hear the way it's going. And if I just drop some additional stuff in here, you'll hear how quickly it picks up. You can hear the roar of the rocket. All the smoke is going straight down the burn chamber. And as you can see, absolutely zero smoke at the top. So it's re-burning all the, the wood. And then all the wood smoke. And if you look in there, you can see how hot it is. It's been running for about 15, 20 minutes now. And I've been just trying to clear up an old Christmas tree. But even at the moment, you can see just on here, it's 191 on this little flue pipe that I've put. And this is the bit feeding it, made from perlite and cement, 43 degrees centigrade. Down here, 30 degrees, that's slightly thicker stuff. And this is the burn chamber that's just operating probably in the region of 1000 degrees. And it's still at 13, look at that. Right on the outset. 27 degrees and you've got an inferno burn in there and I'll just tell you a little bit about this because at the bottom here just those are all Prosecco bottles just empty wine bottles stacked uh, two layers with a bit of sawdust between them so air within them is a good insulator and prevents this from um, leaking the heat down into the floor. I then have built a burn chamber and you can see from a side on view that it's a sort of L shape. It burns here, burns up there and burns up here and that's cast in this this perlite and cement. Perlite's a volcanic rock and the cement and it just holds it together and it gives you a really really lightweight construction but you can see that inside of this it will be in the region of well it's over a thousand degrees centigrade and on the outside as i've shown 50 degrees there i can pick that one up and it depends on how much fuel you put in but i'll just demonstrate again that once it's up to heat it sucks all the heat down in through it. There's no smoke at the top. It burns so well. But I've got this cast and then along the sides of, of this burn chamber, I've got empty beer bottles stacked all around here. And then I've surrounded all those with a mixture of clay that I dug from the land here and sawdust clay and sawdust and that uh, presents an insulator at the moment this is still damp this is still wet from my construction so i've pushed this one along very quickly and you can see that once this dries out completely the efficiency of this will be superb i've tested this before i've, I've made these before but I'm, I'm playing with different designs you can see that there's an air hole in here and I've got a little piece of metal that allows the air to get right into the burn chamber. And you can see the way I'm feeding this. You just feed from the top and all the, all the timber just burns and gets sucked in. And just a final demonstration. I mean, virtually 200 degrees centigrade so it just depends how there you go 200 degrees centigrade and all I've used are bits of an old Christmas tree I'll show you these are some of further castings I've been making and there's the bits of the Christmas tree I've been 
using. This is the former for my um, kiln that I'm developing. That again is cast in, in perlite and cement. And then I've got a, a clay liner. And this is the top of that, that kiln. And you can see I'm just casting a different chamber for another rocket stove and another little stove. <laughs> so basically just boys having a little play, but you can see that primitive as it seems, it is ultra efficient. No smoke at all. I don't need that chimney stack on by the way. I, I just put that there. It just gave me a little bit of draw this morning. Okay, and just to five hundred and forty two degrees centigrade is as high as this will go this uh, thermometer um but I know for a fact that I have um, I've got clay up to a bisque level and I've also melted some uh, metal within there, so you can see the heat of it. And the efficiency of it, once it's up to once it's up to temperature and once it's drawing the way it's drawing, then you can see it pulls a great draft. The chimney is all insulated and that you can see how efficient that is. And this is just using twigs. Very, very efficient. You can of course cook on the top of this should you wish to. I'm just developing this to make a pizza oven and um, a kiln. This is a, a bit of a tandoori oven which I've made with a, this is another rocket stove, but I'll deal with that later. Hope you enjoyed that little video and I'll, I'll post a better one later.